hello and welcome my beautiful Libras to my YouTube channel or to my podcast on Spotify if you're listening to this video in audio version only know that those links are posted below for you to click on as well as the new join membership uh, link is down there as well because after each and every one of my weekly readings now you're going to be privy and have the access to a extended read uh, over and above this reading. So it's $2.99 to become a member. I've kept things very reasonable and you have access to going out live with me and having your own personalized emojis and getting recognition visually out there in the chat room. And this will bring you some perks and advantages too when it comes to receiving messages from me. So I want to thank all my new members and I will be giving them a shout out and actually naming their names as we move through uh, this new this new phase that I, I have in this new um, join button here for members. So getting on with the reading um let's see my beautiful beautiful libras what you have this this particular week what you need to see know and expect um here this is a general not every single card will resonate with every single one of you but some of it will so run with it take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe okay you've been given as you saw fly out of the deck here you've been given the empress and this is all about stepping up and giving birth to your dreams focusing on your goals going after what you want uh, this is a brand new beginning for some of you where you're going to be taking the steps towards your goals and this is you taking care of business here realizing that uh, you you want to get ahead but I think you're going to do it at your own pace I don't think you're going to be forcing yourself uh, or trying to stress yourself out too much however I do I do see struggles with this reading but I do see uh, resources coming in to resolve these struggles now for others there could be the announcement of somebody very close to you who could be uh, having a baby or the announcement of a new addition into somebody's family whether it's a person or it could be a little baby pet uh, I'm going according to intuition and what my guides are telling me so this is definitely you taking responsibility tapping into your own soul level this is you know she's the ultimate feminine here she's you know she goes after what she wants she's nurturing she's loving and she goes after after what she wants and I think you're going to be doing this um, also they're telling me you have this ability to counsel mentor and help other people that you love very much in your life Wow amazing now coming in with your first energy card you've been given be bold and make the first move this is a cardinal moon um, this is all about not playing it small okay um, don't wait for someone to come uh, with the information that you need advice or uh, with an offer or even somebody who you may be uh, getting together with who is going to um, take the initiative my beautiful Libras um, if there's something that you want to see come to fruition here go after it don't be afraid uh, you have that ability to now step up and call the shots uh, waiting for someone else to come in if you've met someone who you're attracted to or you feel could be a business good business partnership connection or a or perhaps on an emotional and loving relationship level this is a new new millennium here uh, don't be afraid to go after it you know nothing ventured nothing gained right so go after what it is you want you've got the flying ship I love this card and this is you know waiting for your ship to come in and this is your ship coming in now some of you could be planning a trip in the near future uh, you know, maybe you're flying off to some beautiful location for a vacation or even for business but I do think you're going to see that your luck is going to shift it's going to improve uh, whatever goals you've been trying to move forward to uh, and approach and 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 attract yourself definitely you're going to see success when this flying ship shows up it's your ship showing up happiness okay achievement success now you've got the bouquet card well we know what flowers mean they mean a gift coming in of appreciation affection respect or even uh, love or an apology I think some of you may be receiving that I love the fact that when the bouquet shows up it means somebody thinks a lot about you and they want to show their appreciation they want to show their affection they want to show their feelings in this way so expect things uh, to work out for you but also they're also telling me that this is blossoming something here is is, is coming from the bud uh, into to uh, the beautiful flower Wow could be this child or this new beginning uh, that you're starting here okay coming in in with your tarot readings in your first row uh, you have the three of swords and you have the Queen of Wands 
So I think you've decided now to, you've got through a, a challenging situation here, great disappointment. Some of you may have even been in the form of sadness and feeling lack of loss, uh, feeling as though you've been betrayed, um, could have been a breakup and a friendship or in a romance. Uh, there could have been a third party that stirred the cauldron, but you had your heart injured here. You, you are definitely healing through this. When this card shows up, it shows, you know, the sword in the center with the blood dripping out of it, the pain and all of that. But around it is all this beautiful gold and yellow, and that means you've dealt with it. The worst is over. You were, you were dealing with something that you struggled with very hard here, but now you're healing through it and you're moving on. You're very determined now. Uh, Libra, this is about standing up for your convictions and going forward. Uh, you heard me tell this a thousand times. She's my favorite, one of my favorite queens in the deck because she's so focused. She's she's so uh, determined. She's learned through her mistakes and she's now able to walk through the fire and come out the other side. So basically, she's fearless because she said, you know what, it's over, it's done. If I can walk through the fire and come out the other side unscathed, I can do anything. And I think you're moving forward in a new direction. Obviously, you went through a situation here in the past, but you've healed through it. And now you're able to learn from that situation and go after what it is you want. A brand new beginning here. Okay. Giving birth to, to uh, a new beginning here uh, and being happy about it. So definitely, um, you know, there could have been a situation with the Three of Swords, but you're, you're healing through that or you already have because I see power here with you. I see determination. I see conviction. I see you going to do something for yourself. And all those people who doubted you, you flip them the bird and you say, watch me. You've heard me say that a lot too because I love that. She, that, that's the message that she gives me all the time. Coming in next, you have the moon. Moon is indicative of Pisces. You, um, you could be uh, getting together with a Pisces, a water sign. But I think this is a card of finding, situ finding things in the background are going to reveal, become revealed. You're tapping into your own intuition and your own um, gut feelings and instincts now. Being able to rely and trust them a lot more. And also you have the resources. Don't think you don't have the resources or your database doesn't have enough in it for you to do what it is you want. You've got it. Uh, definitely there's been a time here when you were going through this period here of this, you know, the Three of Swords energy that you felt as though it was going to be difficult for you to surface again and get a breath of fresh air, but you will. You may be getting the information in the form of a secret, and it could have been there, where now you're moving on and you, you needed to have clarity and you've got it. The moon is the biggest ball in the sky, um, and it illuminates everything in its path when it's out there. You, we've been out there in the black of night, and when there's a full moon, my gosh, it's like the headlights are on. We don't We can see everything in its path. Also, it's the darkest before the dawn. So you are going to be coming out of this. Don't disillusion yourself and get up in your head, okay? You're planning something. Definitely working on your goal here, your future. Uh, Seven of Pentacles is all about doing that, perfecting your craft. But also, it's about you moving forward, planting your seeds and waiting for your harvest to come in. And think about, you know, think about this empress. You know, she's portrayed here as giving birth. Um, you know, in this particular deck, and it doesn't happen overnight, right? So don't get up in your head and start over analyzing, over assessing, over obsessing about something that you're waiting for it to come in. You've done everything, okay? You've got your ducks in a row, you've crossed your T's, dotted your I's, and now you're able to move forward. I think you're going to get the, re the, the information that maybe you needed to find out in the background, and now it's going to help you move forward here. So don't worry. If you put out a proposal, a resume, an idea, um, you know, a job, uh, you know, you've applied for something like a job. It's, it's taking time, but don't get worried because you've done everything that you could possibly do. So don't second guess what you did. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. See, I told you. And there's going to be a new beginning here with the tower. So, and, and change coming in is inevitable. So the Wheel of Fortune is karmically turning you in a positive direction. Uh, the end of certain phases in your life, you've walked away from those, those painful situations and now you realize you want to go through and go forward in a new direction. And staying fearless, staying uh, determined, uh, you're going to get that. No, you know, I love the Wheel of Fortune, you know, karmically being turned, uh, good luck in your favor. This was not a, a risk, okay? This, you, you know, she, she's standing there with dice around her neck, 
But she took the chance to go after what she wanted. And she's coming out ahead because the Wheel of Fortune is proving that. Having stability, having balance now, not being worried uh, that you're not you're not in the right place at the right time because things are definitely working out here. The Tower says it's, it's taken something here to open your eyes. And maybe it was the Ten of Swords. And now you're, you're rebuilding a foundation. You're moving forward. You're making all those changes for the better here. And because of that, you're getting the luck that you deserve with the Wheel of Fortune. So Tower says something might have been on. Once you see things in clarity here, okay, uh, maybe the relationship wasn't on a firm ground. Maybe the person was married. Maybe uh, they they wore a mask and they weren't telling you the whole truth, so help them God. Uh, whatever the situation is, for everybody it's different. Uh, maybe it was a temporary job and you weren't told that or, you know, the company is restructuring or whatever the case is. It left you having to step out on your own and make changes and you're doing it. You're, you're rebuilding a new foundation here and things are going to karmically turn in a better direction for you. So I love the Wheel of Fortune centering your reading here. Now, coming in next, you have the Six of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. So you could be negotiating with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. Um, and this person is quite emotional, quite compassionate, uh, you know, thinks through their heart, wears their heart on their sleeve. This person is a very comfortable individual and amicable and flexible. I think if you're going through negotiations, give and take, this person is going to be very generous as they enter your life and they want to be around you. Um, giving and taking, push-pull energy, um, bartering, um, I'll do this if you do that. Negotiation, negotiations, I think, are going to be on the table in a fair and equitable manner. This Knight of Cups could also be your partner, could be somebody you love, uh, that, it, you know, somebody new coming in that sweeps you off your feet, and it could be a hot and passionate love affair with this particular energy as well, male or female. But I do think it's almost as though you feel you've been given a gift, whether it's in the gift of this person showing up in your life, or it's generosity here, where it's the time of year where you want to do things and get involved in perhaps nonprofit organizations to help the less uh, fortunate uh, you could be receiving something if you reached out for help yourself you could be going back and forth with another person here trying to negotiate and um, you know tie up loose ends as well but it's a good card of gift giving and receiving certain things you could be the giver or the receiver coming in next you have the five of wands and you have the hermit definitely going on your own um, your own journey here of self-discovery, you have that ability to now take time off here and go after what it is you want, but in the peace and, the t and in your own time pacing yourself. Uh, being able to connect with uh, other people of like minds and tapping into them uh, for the resources that you need and to help you make the decisions and choices uh, right now in your life you have this ability to find the lights you know and seek the light and be the light for other people as well you've got all the resources here with the hermit to go after what you want but definitely you're taking yourself uh, pulling away a time out for some of you it could also be a time out and um, from a relationship coming in next you have the five of wands struggle competition uh, feeling as though you have to push yourself all the time to meet your deadlines or uh, your quota. This is a card that says, you know, stop throwing yourself into the flame and the fire. Uh, this is about cooling your jets, pulling back and not allowing yourself to get caught up in this hustle bustle. I think you, you're getting to that point here where you really want to just take care of business, but in a more, more organized fashion. Plan your moves, but don't kill yourself in the process of feeling that you have to push yourself. But this is, a, this is we are coming into December, which is year end for a lot of people in business. And you may, and, and very busy month, uh, of course, December can be, you know, when it comes to sales, it comes to services, businesses like that. It, it, you do feel as though you have to compete and really push yourself and put, you, put your best foot forward. But you may find this is a struggle. And you could be struggling with something emotionally right now. All I want you to do is not allow yourself to take the burdens of other people on your shoulders or to get involved in other people's drama. Pull away because a hermit takes time out. And I think this is a message I'm getting for you right now as well. Well, my beautiful, beautiful uh, Libras, you've got some great cards. Wheel of Fortune, Six of Pentacles, uh, New Beginnings here, the Empress. You know, beautiful. You're receiving gifts, your ship's coming in, and you're being bold. And you're now being able to be in control of where you want to go and seeing that clear sight line to go forward. Oof, I like it. 
okay, stay determined, stay focused, uh, you know, but pace yourself. Don't push yourself so hard uh, to have to get things done in an expedient manner. I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here, my beautiful Libras, to look forward to. And always know I stand in this circle of love and light for you. For all members, uh, Libra members, please know that you can go in and now you'll be able to see this extended read overlaid on this reading. And I thank you again for your membership, Libra. $2.99 for this membership means a lot to me. Well, know that I stand in this circle of love and light for you. And I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.